I've been so looking forward to this next interview. Hannah Ritchie found an escape for her anxiety through art, and now she's using that art to spread kindness and a message about autism. With us this morning, Miss Hannah Ritchie, thank you so much for being with us. Hi. So, um, Hannah, I saw your artwork on Facebook. Tell us more about your story. How did you even get into art? Well, originally, first I started making art just to reduce anxiety, and then I would post it multiple times, and people would ask if they could buy it. So after like three, two or three times, I, we thought maybe we should, my mom and I thought maybe we should start this business. So, and with that and doing so, can we let people know that um, this is also kind of your way to talk about autism? Yes. Tell us your story, Hannah. So I have high functioning autism and anxiety. So like I said before, I, um, long story short, I went to an art studio just to reduce anxiety and then it turned into a business after a couple times of posting stuff. Just then amazing how it turned into a business being a voice. and being a voice for my people. I love that. So it does, when you go to these um, art shows and these pop-up events, are you, does it make you nervous or are you okay with talking with people because you're talking about your art? I love talking with people. I love encouraging people and talking about my art and how it can inspire others. Your art is simply amazing. Um, I know we have some pictures. Do you have anything near you that you can hold up? Yeah. If, if not, we do have uh, some pictures, but you could turn your screen if you want. All right. Um, here, I'll just hold it up. Like the, here's some, um, like a salad set and I do custom orders. So, and then like a wind chime. Oh my gosh. So you focus on beads. How do you like come up with the design? Well, um, it just uh, depends. Like sometimes it's, if it's a custom order, like people want to do it for their wedding colors or Sometimes I just try to use my imagination and see what would go together. So what is it about beads that you like so much, Hannah? It's therapeutic. Is it like the colors? Do you just put like, you know, like drop a bunch of beads in front of you and just go to work that way? My mom helps me with that part because um, she's the best at like putting colors together and being organized, so. Uh, so thank you, mom. Um, so yeah, I do that, but I do all the wrapping and, the, and that's therapeutic. How long does it take you? Like, um, can you hold up the um, salad set, the spoons again? Okay. It takes me about usually 10 minutes. Oh, that's all? Per piece. Yes, per piece, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hannah, you should be giving lessons, you know? Have you thought about adding that to your <laughs> your uh, collection there? Maybe someday. Mm -hmm. uh, so where do you, do you do most of this at home? I do mo my a lot of my art at home, and then and I sell it in a few stores. And what? then, uh, yeah, I sell it at my new favorite thing on Dixie Highway in Waterford, Yellow Dog Marketplace on Dixie Highway in Clarkston, and then Lake Life Goods in on Highland Road in Waterford. And what is your web, because you also, people can order through your Facebook, which yep. is Hannah Joy Spectrum Designs. So I guess yep. we don't have to ask you uh, how you came up with that name. <laughs> right, yeah, it, it's because I'm on the autism spectrum. Hannah, I think we can hear your mom in the background. Tell her we said hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you, Hannah, how old were you when you were uh, diagnosed? I was three. I, yeah, I was three. And walk us through what it's been like for you to grow up with autism. So there have been definitely been some trials, but it's a, honestly, God, there's a reason God blessed me with autism. And I, and that is to be a, vo a voice for other people and to be able to encourage other people. So now that you've gone public with your story, are other people in, uh, with autism, have they been reaching out to you? 
I, yes, they have. I, in fact, one girl emailed me and and told me that she I inspired her. And then I also have a brother with autism too. So um, with that, Hannah, can I ask you, um, did you go to like public school? How was schooling yeah. for you? I did public school. It was it was good for the most part. Were the kids nice? <laughs> yeah, I had, I had quite a few friends, so that was good. Because if they were, I would I would be like, hey, show them the interview <laughs> now. Show them where you are now, right? Yes, there are there were a couple that I would like to be able to show this to, <laughs> but yeah. So. Looking at uh, some of the pictures, you go to like the fairs and these pop-up shops where you're selling them. It looks like you have quite an inventory. Yes, I do. What made you come up with designing these things specifically, or do you do you want to expand? Um, um, I don't plan to expand anytime soon, but maybe that might change. But I um. My silverware, I, I I found that I because I liked using wire and beads, and then my mom was gifted one years ago, uh, like 15 years ago, and she thought I could, I would do a really good job at doing that. So, and it's always it's like I said, it's therapeutic. Where do you get your supplies? Either the the silverware I get from Home Home Goods or Bed Bath and Beyond. And then the um, the beads I get at either Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or Etsy. Wow! Hey, that's something Etsy would be great for you too. Yeah, I'll <laughs> think about that. You're like, hey, wait a minute, can we just, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let me let me stop here, you know? Um, so with that, uh, Hannah, can I ask you where do you think you want to take this? Well, that's a good question, actually. Um, I just, I love selling my stuff and I love being able to inspire people. And I just, my goal is to inspire more people and to be able to, whether it's starting a business or doing what God's called them to do. Oh, that is so nice. You, I love that you're doing this and you're having the courage to do this because <laughs> Just being able to talk about it and share your story, you are an inspiration to other people. Um, how long have you been making this artwork? Four years now. Wow, so it's you're, it's fairly new for you. Yeah. And with that, um, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the pictures of your artwork. Have we put them up yet, some of them? Okay, uh, I can't always see if we're putting them up, but I'm looking at this and it must take so much patience to put all those beads together. Once in a while it does, especially when I'm getting, like around Christmas time when people have special orders, it's, it's great, don't get me wrong, but then it's like I have to keep up. <laughs> because how much of this do you do because you love it? and it's helped you with your anxiety, but then when it turns into a business, you're like, oh, wait a minute, slow down here. Yep. So what advice would you give other people? Just if you, whatever gift God's giving you, just go out there and do it and, and don't be afraid and have courage. That is so great. So Hannah Ritchie with us here on the show. Hannah Joy Spectrum Designs, you can find her uh, on Facebook. And where are the other two stores again, Hannah? It's Yellow Dog Marketplace and my new favorite thing. My new favorite thing. Tell your mom yeah. thank you so much. Can she pop her head uh in? Mom says bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hannah, keep enjoying. Oh, but can I ask you real quickly about how much do these th items go for? Well, it depends on what you're getting. Like if this salad set, for example, is 40. And then like a, a mini spreader is $10 each. This is so perfect, but it's wedding season right now. And these are yeah. such perfect gifts for a wedding couple, I mean, people are actually gonna use it. So 
You're doing yeah. amazing things. Thank you so much for yeah. being with us. We so appreciate your time and your story as well. Of course, thank you for having me. It's beautiful, and bye, Mom. Bye. bye. Thanks for featuring my girl. <laughs> Happy day to the both of you. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>